right. Have and have not fans. Uh, I just finished recording Jeffrey's Three Strikes. That video should be up before or after this one. And you, I was looking on the comments of uh, a few. Honestly, Justin has been like the go-to character over the past couple of weeks. Now that I think about it, you know, in regards to him versus Veronica, David, RK. What about him and Jeffrey and, you know, him versus Madison. And some of the comments... Um, were kind of reflective of what I've been feeling for quite some time. And I felt like I needed to finally do a video addressing my thoughts towards the character. And, um, man, I guess it really comes down to the fact that I feel like when I say this, I'm really voicing what a lot of people watching the show seem to feel. And keep in mind, like, this is going to be like the rough draft of how this topic came up and then you know I'll go more in depth while I get into the video because I don't want to make this sound cruel or anything because that's not my intention whatsoever whatsoever but the question and the whispers amongst a lot of the fans is is the character of Justin still on the show because he's the actor is engaged to Candace Tinker Sumner in real life and you know, is that the like the only reason he's still active on this particular show? You know, they had the they have a beautiful baby girl together. Um, you know, they're engaged, and yeah, let's give him a steady job on the haves and the have nots because you know one of our main stars, Tinga Sumner, you know, is on the show. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking that for quite some time because kind of like the character of Gia, and you know, we just learned that she's not coming back. You, you wonder why Justin is still there because there have been a number of characters who when they first came on the show they were only intended to be on the show for a handful of episodes but then Tyler saw potential in their character and made those characters reoccurring characters or after the character was gone for an extended amount of time they were brought back into the main cast such as uh, Warlock, Erica, uh, Maggie Day is another good example I remember an um, interview with her I uh, read in a magazine, but keep in mind, typically whenever characters do magazine interviews or something along those lines, they're typically killed off not too long after that, which really sucks. But yeah, I remember thinking that, you know, when Justin first came up, it's like, yeah, you know, having someone on the law enforcement side as they're going through the ordeal with the Quincy Maxwell murder made sense for, you know, Candace and Jeffrey to kind of use him to their advantage. But then it just got bad, you know. The character of Justin doesn't seem like he's going anywhere. And I remember when he first came on the show, I did a couple of videos and a video. The first video I remember actually really taking off is like, um, is Justin who Jeffrey could have been, you know, like pretty much talking about like Justin being like a dark reflection, no pun intended because we're dealing with black and white here, but like a dark reflection of who Jeffrey would be. If he never came out of the closet, uh, Landon pretty much warned him about this in season two. It was like, look, if you don't come out of the closet and embrace who you are, then you're going to end up being married to like a, a woman living the lifestyle of a heterosexual male when you're not. And, you know, you're going to be ending up going to random hotels, motels, back of buses, train stations and whatnot, having unprotected sex with men. And then next thing you know, what if you catch something, bring it home to this woman and you've put an innocent woman's life in danger because you were too afraid to embrace who you really are. And that really is reminiscent of who Justin is. And we can we don't know much about Pearl, but we can pretty much assume that like Veronica, she, you know, wouldn't be too fond of her son messing around with another man, you know, and that leads to Justin never coming out and embracing who he is. And as an extension, we can pretty much almost guarantee that his marriage was arranged by his mother because, you know, his wife does seem to be a little bit older than he is. I don't think that she's like that much older, but you can tell she is older than Justin. And I have no doubt that his mother is the one that forced him to start dating and then got engaged and then got married, had a kid and, you know, had a steady job. I think the same is true with Jeffrey and, you know, Melissa, if things would have kept progressing to the point where Jeffrey didn't give in and he pretty much, excuse me, Jeffrey didn't fight back. He just gave in, lived the life that his mother wanted and who knows where he would be now. 
So that's when Justin really had an impact on the series. But then he just kind of, you know, is is just there. You know, whenever he shows up, it's kind of like, really, dude? Like, we're not going to get any progression with your character? I think I've said this time and time again. What really makes it frustrating is the fact that we never get any development with Justin. Like, we heard about him allegedly going to a couple of anger management classes, but we've never seen it. And we've never, like... All it takes is maybe a five minute scene. I'm not asking for an entire episode. Let's see if he's in one of these self-help groups and, um, you know, the counselor and other people there, you know, they're going around telling their stories. And the thing about Justin is we learn more about his backstory, like growing up, you know, he's always been controlled by his parents, specifically his mother telling him what to do. And maybe the chances when, um, wait, wait, didn't Pearl say something? I could be wrong, but. Didn't Pearl say something about Justin back in like school where the coach or teacher caught him in the locker room of another boy? I think that was something she said. I think that's something. And, you know, we learn more about that. And the thing is, we can have Justin. We know he's suspended from the force, right? So that means he has a lot of time on his hands. So I'd say for maybe several episodes, instead of uh, Justin just popping up, you know, causing trouble, Show him trying to make progress, you know, going to these meetings. And each time we see a brief stop at this meeting, we learn more about his backstory, like how he was caught with this other boy and how he's had trouble revealing who he really is. And I'd say during the first couple meetings, he might get angry and storm out of the room because the counselor might guess that, you know, he might be gay or into men. And then he's like, no, no. And then he storms out. And then one episode, he goes back and meets with the counselor one-on-one and then tells him the whole truth. And we see progress. That would make Justin a worthwhile character. And it goes back to the video I posted. Um, yeah, I think it was like the last video I posted about has the series sacrifice character for craziness like i don't care how many cars justin destroys with a crowbar i don't care how many people he bops upside the head with a crowbar i don't care how many times he gets cur- you know jumped in the streets or in his house i want to know if you're going to have a character on the show this long make me actually give a damn about him you know like i'm not saying ju- he's going to be my favorite character but just give me a reason to like the guy like mitch is my favorite character on the show as of right now because we kn- we've been learning more about his family over the past season in regards to different family members even though i would love to see mama rose again and we just learn more about his internal struggle because he's trying not to be like his family and he's doing everything he can to save his dumbass best friend um, from a situation he got himself in. But we learn more about the struggle of, okay, Mitch is putting his own life on the line because he's been threatened a couple of times by his family. We're helping this black kid. And then we have Hannah, the mother of his dumb friend, jumping down his throat when he's been doing everything to try to keep her son out of danger. So you find that he's in an eternal struggle as well. So you actually care about what Mitch is going through with Justin. I don't give a crap. It's like we're not getting anything positive for his character. Like I can't wait until the night's new episode. I'm recording this 1230 on Tuesday morning. So maybe by the time uh, this video is up for like 24 hours, maybe my tune will change. Will this beat down humble Justin? Will it bring him and Jeffrey closer together? What will it do? Will this be like, a flashback to something he's went through before. Maybe he's gotten beaten up and tormented because he was caught with another man. I don't know. But what I'm saying is when I started this video, I talked, I brought up something that a lot of people have been saying is Justin or, you know, excuse me. Um, Tinka's fiance only riding the coattails of, you know, being her baby daddy and fiance. So he's allowed to be on the haves and have nots. Eh, I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't know. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't be mad because, you know, money is money. But my thing is, this: I would rather be on a series if I had something interesting to bring to the show than on the series just to be there. So, again, I don't know what the future of Justin is. I can only theorize. But based off what we've seen, I don't really know. I just am sick of care. And Justin is a little this video is not attacking um, just I believe uh, Nick. James, this is not attacking him whatsoever because there are other characters on the show who have been on the show longer than Justin, yet their character has been all but 
thrown into an endless loop where there's no development. Wyatt, Benny, just to name a couple of characters off the top of my head. But I, I feel like we really need, if Justin is going to stick around for quite some time, then we need some growth. Like I said before, those counseling sessions or something along those lines, I would really like to see it because with him being beat down, one can make the argument he's just going to, you know, rise up and try to get revenge. I don't really care about that. I want to see more of Justin in terms of who he is, how he came to be. I feel like this video is a mirror of the videos I've done about Veronica over and over again, where give us some backstory, let her mom show up. Let's find out why she is the way she is rather than her continuously causing mayhem and destruction and revenge without really giving me a reason to care about this crazy ass bitch. So when it comes to Justin, yeah, I actually just watched um, the Wendy Williams interview that Tinka Sumner had last year during the promo the promotional tour for Nobody's Fool, uh, which actually is out on DVD and Blu-ray as we speak. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments, do you want me to do like a movie review part two, kind of like, does the movie still hold up? Because I did watch it in theaters, I did a movie review, but it's been like, what, three, four months since it's been on the theater, so... Maybe I'll watch it again and just see if the movie, if my perspective of the movie has changed. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I remember on the interview that she talked about how everything moves so fast. Like there was a scene they had together. He kept making her laugh. They went out to a club, predominantly black. He, he just, hey, he fit in. It's all, it's all good. They ended up kissing at night. Next thing you know, they got pregnant and they've been engaged for two years because, well, everything just moves so fast. So congratulations to them. And I really do wish them the best. And yeah, their daughter is adorable. Daughter is adorable. But uh, yeah, I really don't know why he's still on the show. But then again, I am a fan like everyone else. Tyler Perry might have this storyline over the next season that's going to blow me away, as well as all the people saying, why is he on the show? But to be completely honest... Tyler Perry hasn't given us much to work with here. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I am with this. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Why do you think Justin is still in the series? Do you think it's pretty much Tyler Perry, you know, hey, you know, you're with the main cast member, so you can stay on the show for as long as you like. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, so subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.